So in DynamoDB, it's important for us to know how to calculate the reads or the writes. So let's start with read capacity units. A read capacity unit represents one strongly consistent read per second or two eventually consistent reads per second for an item up to four kilobytes in size. So the whole point is figuring out what to put in this box. Uh, and so if we had um, data that was four kilobytes or data or less at 10, this would equal 10 strongly consistent reads or 20 eventually consistent reads. But if this shows up in the exam, they're not gonna, uh, they're gonna not ask you uh, this stuff, they're gonna ask you how to calculate this number here. And that's what we're gonna figure out. But remember that we have consistent reads and strong reads. So we have to have two different formulas for calculating this end number here. So let's first look at how to calculate uh, RCUs for strong uh, strongly consistent reads. And the formula is gonna be, we're gonna round our data up to the nearest four, we're gonna divide by four, and then we're gonna times by the number of reads. So let's go through three examples. The first being 50 reads at 40 kilobytes uh, per item. So we don't need to round it up to four because 40 is already divisible by four. And we're gonna divide that by four, giving us 10 times uh, that by 50, that's how many reads we have. And that's gonna be the number that goes up in here, 500 uh, RCUs. The next one here is 10 reads at 6 kilobytes per item. So 6 needs to get rounded up to 8. That uh, 8 is divided by 4, uh, which turns into 2. And we're going to take that 2 times it by 10, and that's going to be 20 RCUs. So that 20 is going to go up into that box there. Uh, then the last one here, we have 33 reads at 17 kilobytes per item. Uh, and so 17 kilobytes need to be rounded up to 20. 20 is div uh, divisible by 4 becomes 4. And then we times 4 by the number of reads, which is 33. And that's going to give us 132 RCUs. So we're going to now look at how to calculate RCUs for uh, eventually consistent reads. And remember uh, that for each RCU, we get two eventually consistent reads per second. So the formula is going to vary here, but going to be pretty darn similar. So the first thing is we're going to round the data up to the nearest four. We're going to divide by four. We're going to times by the number of reads. Then we're going to divide by the final number by two. And then we have to round up to the nearest whole number. So looking at the first example, we have 50 reads at 40 kilobytes per item. So uh, 40 is already divisible by four. So we're going to divide by four, which gives us 10. And we're going to times by 50, which gives us 500, then divide by two and that's gonna give us 250 RCUs. Uh, the next example, uh, we have 11 reads at nine kilobytes per item. So we're going to round up nine to 12, which is the nearest four, which gives us, and then we're gonna divide that by four, which gives us three, three times 11, that's the amount of reads, so that's 33. Um, then we're gonna divide by two, which gives us 16.5, and then we'll have to round that up to the whole number, so that's 17. So we're at 17 RCUs. And then one more example here. So let's say we have 14 reads at 24 kilobytes per item. So 24 is divisible by four, so that gives us five. Five divided by four, or sorry, 24 divided by four is five. And then five times, uh, uh, five, five times 14 is 70. And then divide that by two gives us 35 RCUs. So um, I know math isn't fun, but it is something you definitely need to learn. So just drill through this stuff uh, until you get it. Um, and there you go.